Sorry, please aren't too hot. <laughs> there you are. That is too. Alright guys, I am back at Hot Degrees Diner just outside of York. I'm making incredibly bad decisions here. Last night I took on their Man vs Dog Challenge, completed it, got the new record, but I'm back here tonight, not less than 24 hours taking on their Macho Nacho Challenge. Macho Nacho Challenge? Macho Nacho Sombrero Challenge. Macho Nacho Sombrero Challenge. They're luckily not making me wear the sombrero, because sometimes they make other people wear the sombrero, but I've got 45 short minutes to take down this five pounds, it looks like more, of nachos. This has got pulled pork, it's got chili on, it's got uh, guacamole, just got loads and loads and loads of nachos and cheese and salsa. It's got everything you could ever want in nachos. It looks and smells absolutely delicious but I'm not that confident. I'm just hoping to get it down and get my name on the leaderboard up there. So yeah, third challenge here at Huckleberry's. Fingers crossed this is three out of three. Three, two, one, go! Alright guys, welcome back to another challenge, and not just any challenge, the Macho Nacho Sombrero Challenge. Mm. The full pork is so good. And I've got to say, right from the start, these nachos were the best nachos I've ever had. They were the most loaded nachos I've ever had, and they were the tastiest nachos. Mm, that's really good. So that was the guacamole they had on here but they must have mixed it with something because it wasn't as firm as the usual guacamoles I have. It must be put together with some special type of sauce they had, but honestly, it was so good. You think with all the food challenges I do that I'd be able to stuff my face full of nachos, but nope, even I have trouble cramming nachos in. And that was a bad sign because there was a lot of nachos on this plate. It's gotta be in the region of like 200, I'd say. Early days, mate, early days. <laughs> <laughs> There's not too many up there. I was going to say, which one are you going for? The nacho one. The na oh yeah, the sombrero show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I needed all the best wishes I could get. Honestly guys, while you might have seen me do bigger challenges than this, having done the six foot man versus dog challenge less than 24 hours before, I was not at all prepared for how big this nacho challenge was going to be. It just seems to regenerate. No, but to finish that quicker than I want to get a natural to the cinema. That was John there saying that I'd be able to finish this nacho challenge quicker than he could finish a normal plate of nachos in the cinema. But guys, how fast do you think I'm going to be able to do this? Just over eight minutes in and I really honestly felt like these were just regenerating every time I'd eat some nachos and then have a look at how much I ate. It just didn't at the time seem like I was making any progress at all. But I was pretty determined and you know what was really helping? how tasty these nachos were. The nachos themselves were really nice and lightly salted. The cheese was really good. It was a mix of nacho cheese along with cheddar cheese, which really went well together. But my favorite by far was the pulled pork. It was the same homemade pulled pork that I'd had in the Burger Apocalypse Challenge, my first ever challenge at Huckleberry's Diner. And it's one of the best I've ever had. That along with the chili, you'd think I had been sick of the chili because I had just had about two kilos worth of chili less than 24 hours before having taken on the man versus dog challenge but i wasn't it went so well with the nachos and the pulled pork and to top it all off the salsa and the guacamole and the sour cream actually went so well together and the jalapenos yeah they were pretty good i was just so happy they weren't spicy i have to get a train back to london this is such a bad idea you heard it right i had to catch a train all the way back down to london for those of you that don't know it's about a six, seven hour journey door to door from Huckleberry's all the way to my house. And having eaten over an eight pound chili dog challenge and then less than 24 hours eating over a six pound nacho challenge, I was not looking forward to the train home. 
feels like it stopped like regenerating. At a point, it felt like it was regenerating, so it feels manageable, but I'm gonna go slow, I know. And at just under 20 minutes in, I pretty much had about three quarters of the nachos down at this point, but I was really starting to slow. So comment down below, guys, how long you think it's gonna take me to finish these off. And yes, you have seen, that's the grimace of me starting to struggle. How's it going there, Matt? It stopped regenerating, which is good. That was Sarah, the co-owner there, asking me how it's going. I've got to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to John and Sarah, the owners of Huckleberry's. They have been so welcoming to me since I first came to Huckleberry's and took on their Burger Apocalypse Challenge. Please, if you're ever in York, it's one of my favorite cities to visit, go visit Huckleberry's. They're about 10 minutes outside of York and they are amazing. The food is phenomenal and the staff are so kind and the hospitality is amazing. John and Sarah are hilarious. Please take yourself down there. Tell them I sent you, that would be amazing. So when you finish that, we'll bring out the other plate, yeah? Oh, yeah, the other plate, yeah. That'd be horrific. Oh. It's gonna get slow, but uh, I might have it. Oh, next time. That was John saying that I should have just gone with a normal meal. I know, I was being silly, coming back here and trying to take on another challenge. But to be honest, I don't get to regularly visit them, so I really wanted to do another one of their challenges. They have three more challenges on the menu that I have not done. One is called Satan's Lollipops. It's a hot wings challenge. I don't think I'll ever be able to do that. Another one is a cookie dough challenge, which I think I'll do next. And another one is a sliders challenge. So let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do them. It's such a battle. And you can see in my face, I was really starting to struggle. If you have watched a lot of my other challenges, You'll see my telltale sign is that I really start to scrunch my face and I'm pretty much from the 20 minute mark, I was already doing that. So I was really struggling with this one. Actually, I'd love to know, for some of my diehard fans that have watched a lot of my videos, what's the video that you've watched me struggle the most? I know I have a couple that I'm thinking of, but comment down below, what challenge out of all the challenges I've done have I struggled the most with? Maybe a prize for the one that guesses the right challenge? Oh. Couldn't have said it better myself, John. And with that, guys, I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm actually in America at the moment doing a food challenge tour, so making two videos a week is too difficult for me at the moment, so I'll just have a Sunday's video. But next Sunday's video is my second collab with Randy Santel. Stay tuned until the end of this video to see a little preview but it's wild, really wild. See, I feel like it's my fault because I could have quite easily spilled them nachos when I bought it to you. We're still doing it. Well, we're not live, so let's just have a Oh my god, that was such a bad idea. Never do a huge challenge, an eight pound challenge, and then come back the next day less than 24 hours. I'm never doing that again. But I'm so happy, I, I need to lie down, but I am so happy that I just did that. Um, this is, yeah, that I really pushed myself. 30 minutes is pretty good, considering so how like terrible a decision this was to do it back to back, but yeah. The, really helped that the nachos are really delicious and all the different flavours as well. I obviously said in the, in the commentary uh, how I liked all the different things because about now I need to lie down. But I've got to get a train to London so that's not going to be an option so that's going to be a fun ride home. But uh, yeah, a big big thanks to Huckleberry again, amazing place. Bring me back here for the pie eating contest which is going to be amazing. Uh, so yeah, um, another challenge done. Three out of three so that was really good. So yeah. Thanks guys, uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Alright, peace out, bye. Honestly, I've been saying to people up here, every loads of people have got a challenge, but to complete two challenges in two days is not a, is not a smart person's choice. <laughs> that's a, that's a it first It was an opportunist like. moment, you were yeah, here. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Just really stupidly done a challenge last night, so I don't know if this is the best idea, but...
Yeah. That is true. See, that is true. Everyone's an expert. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah that's true, that's true. true. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Are you going already? No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. All right. All right. You kids ready for this? Oh, they're ready. They got six. All right. One, two, three. Boom! <laughs>